Submarines are a uh, unique vessel to be at sea in, and uh, it certainly is quite different to a surface ship. My name is uh, John Dickenberg, and while I was in the Navy, I was uh, the captain of two Abron class submarines, and uh, my last operational job was the commander of the Australian Submarine Squadron. Uh, on the surface, these submarines used to do about 12 knots, uh, and dive, they could do 20 knots, so they were really designed to be dived. And uh, in terms of depth, they used to go down to 600 feet. OK, where we are now is uh, the four ends of the submarine. It has three functions, this particular compartment. It carried torpedoes, uh, torpedoes and missiles, in fact, towards the end of its life. So it was a weapon space. Uh, it was also an accommodation space in that, uh, with 83 crew and 63 bunks, we used to put a few of the crew up here amongst the weapons. The crew for the submarine was about 63, but on some occasions, the crew used to be up to about 83. There were not enough bunks on board for the entire crew. So what we would do is, in some cases, uh, we would share bunks. Uh, not at the same time, I'd like to say. <laughs> now, Onslow uh, was one of six Oberon-class submarines uh, purchased for the Australian Navy. The submarines were actually designed to be at sea for about 70 days, and I guess the longest I did was about uh, 40 days. OK, where we are now is the submarine's control room, and uh, this is very much the equivalent to a bridge in a normal ship and the operations room. And it's really where uh, the hub of operating the submarine uh, occurs from. The Chief of Navy invited a number of tall ships from around the world, and on the 3rd of October, we have about 17 tall ships, including the museum's uh, Endeavour, uh, coming up the harbour. So that as well will be quite spectacular. The fleet itself, uh, the warships come into Sydney Harbour on the 4th of October, and uh, there are about 45 warships, so just the number of ships that arrive in the harbour will be very significant.